Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we have for you the Thunder Toys Venom Host Spider-Man figure. I believe they made three. They made an all red one, they made an all black one, and they made this one. It was about 160 something dollars. I want to say like 165, 168, something like that. Very cheap figure, but I wanted it because of, as you can see, I needed to complete everything you see here. Uh, I knew going into buying that figure that it wasn't going to be, uh, you know, something great. It wasn't going to be out of this world. It wasn't going to be amazing by any means. I knew what I was getting myself into, but because of this look specifically, I needed this figure. Like I said, as you can see. This is the head sculpt that came with this Spider-Man figure here, which is a Hot Toys figure. This is the deluxe, as you can see. Uh, it came with the Sandman base, but what makes that a deluxe figure, um, or a deluxe set, um, rather, is the fact that it comes with the mace, um, the mace attachment on the Sandman fist. Um, it comes with a regular fist and that, and that piece is what makes it deluxe. Um, so this head sculpt belongs to this. I made this custom years ago. Uh, this is a Metacom, I believe, uh, figure. Yeah, it was a real action heroes, uh, brand. Uh, it was the line, uh, by, um, by Metacom. Uh, and also this is Hot Toys as well. This came with hot, this space came with the Hot Toys, um, figure. Uh, but as you can see, guys, again, just, you know, very basic figure. It was very cheap, like I said. Um, it's just, it looks incredible. It, it, this is a, a plastic attachment that comes with it. But I just needed this look. Really, really, really nice. It feels really, really nice in your hands too. That material, that it feels very, very, um, not sticky, but it feels very nice. It feels very like dryish, I guess you could say. It feels really good in your hands. Um, you know, the head sculpts you can see, just very crappy figure, it doesn't look nice, look how, look how weird that looks in the back, it's like square, it's not even round, but, like I said, I needed this figure, just because, look at that, it's just so nice, it comes with a couple of black hands, you know, from the uh, red Spider-Man suit, and then a couple of black hands for the black Spider-Man suit, but, look at that guys. The thing is beautiful, beautiful. And it stands up on its own very well, too, which was I was really surprised about. See? Like, no problems whatsoever. So I'm really happy about that. And like I said, this here, it's, like, sticky a little bit. Like I said, it's not sticky. It's not like it's sticking to your finger, but it's, 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 a, it's a material that doesn't slide. So that's why it stays really, really well. No matter where you put it, it stays very well. So, again, really, really loving the figure, guys. Um... I put this head sculpt, obviously I take pictures of everything, so I, I swapped this head sculpt I put on here. It looks incredible. Wait till you guys see that. Um, these figures, these Spider-Man figures are very, very old. Obviously, they're from the Tobey Maguire era. They, uh, they were actually really good uh, figures, you know, really popular figures at the time. But if, as, if you can see, let me show you what these bodies look like. Look at the shoulders. Look how weird those shoulders look. Like very pointy, very round. They stick out a lot. Still looks great, but it's just, you know, just those bodies back then were so crappy. And this figure, you can't really do much with it anyway. It's not like it's crazy poseable or anything either, just because that body was trash, you know. But um, but it just, you know, it's a great figure anyway. This was the very first Spider-Man that we got back then. First, Tobey Maguire. Then we got the black Spider-Man that came with the head sculpt. This head sculpt was great. This camera actually came with uh, another figure that I have. It's uh, a Shea Guevara figure by Enterbay, I believe. Um, I actually posted pictures of it recently, so you may have seen it. Um, this came also with a base around, you know, Spider-Man, like, base. It was weird, uh, you know, just pointless base. Too big for what it is. Uh, came with the stand. Uh, came with, like I said, the hands. Came with some spider webs. Actually came with something that looks like this. And something that looks like this. Which I'm not going to bother with. As you can see how, like, bent these are. Because, again, they're so old. And I, and I you know, I displayed the figure with them on. And just over the years, you know, that, 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 the, the plastic just bends over time. Just from the weight of, 
this and this the way to the tips. They just bend over time. So I've had the figure like this for many years. I, I displayed the figure like that. I mounted it on the on the stand um, like you're supposed to. And that's how I've left it ever since. Um, but back to this figure, guys. Again, I, I didn't I didn't bother getting the red one or the uh, the black one they made just because, again, as you can see, I have them both. So I didn't want to really bother with that. But I needed this look. And again, I I really I really like how they looked with the head sculpt on. Um, again, you guys are gonna see when I when I post the pictures. So I think that I'm going to probably look for another Toby Maguire head sculpt like this one, um, and put it on this. I think it'll look so much better because it did. It actually looked really really nice, guys. So I think that's what I'm going to do. It's just going to look incredible. Like I said, wait till you guys see what it looks like with the um, with the head sculpt on. You guys are going to see. You guys are going to see how, what I'm talking about. I really like this head sculpt a lot. The only thing is, I want to get like because he looks mean in that in that portrait. He looks, you know, he looks angry, which is you know what it was supposed to be. Because remember, this came with the black Spider-Man uh, suit. Let me show you guys up close what that head sculpt looks like. It looks really nice, actually. Look at that. So he's supposed to look mean because he already had the black suit on, you know, for this figure, for this uh, head sculpt. So um, it needed to to look mean, to look angry, to look menacing. So that's why. So it's perfect. But like I said, it looks incredible in the uh, with this with this figure here with the Thunder Toys Spider Man figure. Um, what else did it come with? I think that's it. it. Didn't come with much at all. But again, very cheap guys. Worth the money. Absolutely. It just it's gonna look amazing in the display. It's gonna look amazing on the shelf with all these guys here. Um, it's still left over there. I have the new goblin. I have two new goblins. I have a custom. Um, what's his name? Harry Osborne with a suit on that I posted again a while ago, and then uh, also a custom um, wrestling. Uh, uh, what's his name? Peter Parker that I made wearing that that you know Spider Man one wrestling suit when he was fighting um macho man in the movie so i have those on that shelf as well and so this is going to look amazing i'm going to start looking for that head scope like i said guys because i'm really really excited about how that looks i don't want to just take that off and then waste the body you know what i mean because i could just easily just put that on there and then that's it but then what am i going to do with that you know what i mean so i definitely need the second head scope um i would use this for like uh you know like uh maybe like a tom holland but it just wouldn't go you know what i mean so that's why i'm just gonna leave it alone but i'm definitely gonna start looking for that head sculpt because it's gonna look amazing so there you go guys um i hope you liked the video as always please don't forget to like and i'll see you guys in the next one